Hey you guys, here we are in all of that. Um, this is the furnace. I'm going to be replacing a furnace and air conditioner. This is inside of a garage. So a couple things about the garage. One, this steel barricade that he's got here um, is required by code. So um, And it just is loose. It could come out and just put, put it back when you're done. Um, yeah, this uh, return drop is a little bit small. It's only 23 and a half inches wide. So from here down, which is four feet, um, we need to uh, make it 26 inches wide. So we'll need a little transition there. We're going to do a sealed uh, filter door. Uh, again, we're in the garage. Um, we'll just leave it on the pad that's there. But the new furnace is going to have a furnace base uh, underneath it because it's a three and a half ton air conditioner. The uh, uh, the flue goes up here into this. You know, this is all. All gonna have to be double wall pipe um, inside of here and not single wall pipe the uh, condensate drain just goes out onto the yard so um, I'm just gonna stick with that and then because there's really no other place to go then the Freon lines run here up across so we're gonna have to actually move a lot of this so it's gonna have to be moved um, mm -hmm. And then they come down here, and they do go out, oh here they are, right here. And then they go out the yard back here. Here's the air conditioner. So we're just setting on flat ground. We'll need a new pad, new disconnect box, um, you know, and the new Freon lines out here. So that's a three and a half ton air conditioner. Let's see, well, let's see if there's anything else. Um, uh, he already put in fire dampers, so I think that's what these access doors are for. We need to leave those fire dampers in there and leave access for them. And they put fire dampers probably here too. Um, in the supply, uh, those are required. Required by code. Um, I think that's about it. So, give you guys one last look. And he'll clear some of the stuff around here for us. So, appreciate it guys. Thanks.